Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because Saro is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm going to show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video Gemini guys welcome uh, into this video where for your sun moon and rising you are to see the reading uh, for this week February 28th up until March 6 2022 and uh, should you enjoy the show just subscribe for the channel give a like and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads and as well help us with the YouTube algorithm uh, that being said, let me just finish the shuffle here and uh, see what kind of experiences you're going to have into this upcoming week. So uh, the very first card for you, that is going to be the Knight of Swords, uh, followed by the second here, which stands at the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, uh, we do have uh, the Lovers, uh, followed by uh, the fourth card, which stands as the Ace of uh, Cups. And uh, the final one for you here is going to be the Ace of Wands. And that is, uh, th this week is, gonna ha is going to start a little bit... Um, 
on the edge but very quickly is going to pretty much improve itself a big time as we can see with the finisher here that we do have ace of uh, cups ace of wands i mean that's a, a great great finisher I, I would love to have that finisher into my reading this week uh, so starting up with the knight of swords that we do have let me draw one more card just to be able to tell you oh my god that is a, such a Wow, all right, so uh, we do have the Four of Wands as a catalyst to the Knights of Swords, and that is a person who is, uh, I can't find the word, uh, it's determined, okay? It is determined to get the job done something with you it, it has something to do with you whether it is to they want to express their feelings or to express their thoughts you know or to just you know to ask you something whatever it is now they are determined to do it at the start of this week and now everything makes sense especially the next couple of cards which are the nine of pentacles and the lovers for what they are have to do with you is gonna bring you abundance it's it's just it's the only word i can find for it it's abundance it's, it's a huge leap into growth into development into i, I don't know oh, oh my god i just lost my mind here wow all right so uh but, but i cannot tell you individually what that is going to be unfortunately because that is going to be an individual individual thing for every single one of you for some of you it could be money okay for others it could be love it could be a, a job offer but rest assured now that person it is literally determined they, they can't sleep until they actually address you with whatever they have to say or whatever they have to offer i need to know here that this is just as important to you but it is way more important for them so if if it looks like a charity it isn't because in some cases for you guys some of these people may try to make it look like that they're doing you a favor for example if they ask you to work for them and they're giving you really that fat check and it feels like they're giving you a favor they are getting from you way way more than they're giving you okay which isn't a bad thing okay they have the means they do it but just don't be how can i put it into words grateful to grateful to a point of slavery because falling into that state it's something none of us wants to be in but regardless i mean uh, like i said with this one it seems that right at the start of the week when they address you you are going to have a lot to think about because the choice is going to be yours ultimately what you're what do you want to do with it but regardless this thing this interaction with the knight of swords uh as we can see the nine of pentacles is going to stir the things for you in a big way and the nine of pentacles here speaks that the first half of the week it is just is going to be very very easy going for you whether it is about career or whether it is about relationship it's just things are are going to go very very smooth and is going to have an uphill curve meaning that everything is going to grow should it be something how can i put it into words established per se uh, the growth is going to be steady you know little by little but should you have nothing at this moment no love life no career well then the nine of pentacles it literally speaks about a huge jump into growth and into development that that's uh, address uh, addressation or addression or how can i put it into what offer let's say an offer is going to look like it's way way too good to be true but it is true okay it's just it is it's the nine of pentacles here speaks that that is going to be either d with capital letters the job the project the uh the suitor all right or or, or how can i put it into what's the love as well so it's, it's going to be very important that you do not miss your chance uh, here. And where that is leading you really, it is uh, in the lover's card. So that is the middle of the week now. And uh, with the lover's card, actually three things are coming into play here. Okay. Now we can say that flirting is coming into play, but that is very superficial way of looking into the card. Okay, so yeah, flirting is very uh, it's very possible that you may find somebody to have a good time with and so on and so forth. Uh, but in the grand scheme of things with the lovers, um, 
three things, like I say, is going to take place. First, and the most important one, is that at this point you have to decide, are you going to make a commitment to that Knight of Swords, or you won't make a commitment. Now, either way, either choice you make here is going to serve you well. And that it is the second most important thing that it is that it is going to take place here is that whatever you decide, your life is going to be set into harmony afterwards. And the third thing that comes into play with the lover's card at the end of the week, at the middle of the week, I'm sorry, is that as soon as you make your choice, uh, many of your concerns and problems simply gone. It's simply they're not gonna be there. Now, like I said, the card may show a flirting and romance, which may develop in between you and the Knight of Swords. Now, should that be the case, you need to know that your take on relationships is going to be very different. It will feel very, very alien. And uh, in, in such a state, people tend to be afraid of making a commitment but you need to know that these differences with time are going to make you special to one another so i do encourage you should a romantic sparks start kind of like transmitting into one another uh give it a try and you will be amazed how well it's going to work out even though you are very very different from one another but regardless you're moving towards the uh, end of the weekend regardless of your choice uh this time is going to be uh, kind of like emotionally fulfilling it's the only way how i can describe it here with the ace of uh, with the ace of cups because the ace of cups here does speaks about the love for life itself and it literally only thing that it states is that whatever you are gonna go through the uh, from the mid towards the end of the week guys you are going to freaking love it okay that may be uh you know, in, in, it can develop in many ways, but if I have to guess here, it is that you have gave a chance to the Knights of Swords to get into a romantic, how can I put it into words, interaction, and now you're quickly realizing that you are actually falling in love, and it, that thing it's kind of shared, because that's how the Ace of Cups could stand. But in the grand scheme of things, how it stands, it is that the, the Ace of Cups brings you brings you a impending change that transcends your reality into something a beautiful, which could be your job that becomes beautiful, a beautiful project, or like I said, why not a beautiful relationship that you are to see a lot of a gains from it for the ace of uh, wands here it is a testament that this opportunity proved itself to be very very gainingful and that is another card that speaks that you may give a chance to that knight of swords okay because the ace of the ace of wands it is when the opportunity it's unlike anything you have experienced up until this point but you very quickly get the hang of it all right you very quickly kind of fit into the situation and, and tackle with the differences tackle with the demands and so on and so forth although you never did that before you are very good at it at this point and that allows you to develop talents that that allows you to wreak a uh, creative chaos which kind of like uh, it constructs things it makes things grow and it will allow you to make a gains whether in love whether in career the gains are yours so very gaining for week uh, it, it starts a little bit uh, how can i put it into words on the edge here because uh, again this this proposal for the knights of swords it may flabbergast you straight away i mean what, what this guy or a woman is talking about right i mean uh, how how can they be so frank with me but <laughs> it is what it is and so once you do shook off the the the, how, how, the shock so to speak um and make your choice things are going to go, go flawlessly from there right so that was your week hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we are to see each other next time until then bye